everyone hi it's emily um so sorry about the camera the camera jiggling around everywhere i am um, i mean it's a bit ridiculous how like poorly filmed this is going to be because to get them all in the frame like this i'm having to uh stand on a stool and um hold the camera you know it's it's just it's a bit it's a bit ad hoc today um but basically i wanted to do a really quick um size comparison and um it is really surreal seeing them all together like this i don't really know why it's just i never put my babies together so it's just it's bizarre seeing them all lined up next to each other um and it, it's like 80s like he could he could basically eat one of them like they are a snack for him um kind of anyway um so i wanted to sort of do like a kind of big versus small type thing and i've written down a few um pros and cons for you know a big reborn as opposed to a wee a wee little one um, but before I get into that, I just wanted to talk a little bit about these babies in particular and kind of give you like a rundown of their stats as it were. So I will start first with this little, this little bubba here who, oh that sun, wow, that sun is very unwelcome. Anyway, um, yeah so I'll start with Nanook, he is the smallest, um, really sun, are you kidding me? Forgive me, I just had to sort out the lighting. Um, but yeah, so he is the smallest uh, reborn that I have. Well, he's actually silicone. I'll give him a squish for you as a bit of proof. He um, He's the smallest I've ever had. And um, I've actually just looked up on um, the Our World of Chi website. And they are claiming that he is 18 inches. Um... I think that's pretty accurate. I feel like an idiot because I've been calling him 17 inches this whole time. He, I don't know, he's very small. Like, I feel like he should be smaller than 18. Do you know what I mean? Like, I've got the little tape measure here. And if I just move that up. I know this is completely unscientific. His legs are bent. But if I just look, the top of his head is 17 with bent legs that is um so yeah that's little nanook and he he does feel really really small like when i'm holding him he is he's very very wee and um i don't think well i guess it would it would very much depend on what i wanted the doll for but i don't think i would want a doll that was smaller than than him i think he is my he is my small limit okay so moving on to this little baby. This is um, the Livia kit by Gudrun Legler. And um, when you Google this kit, um, it claims that it is 20 inches. But they don't, <laughs> they really do not look that different, do they guys? And I, I feel like they, they don't look two inches apart right now. But maybe I'm just tripping I don't know um I've always thought this was a 19 inch kit but Google told me otherwise Google's been putting me to shame today and oh look how beautiful he is those eyes anyway so that is the Livia kit by Gudrun Legler and then sorry this camera work I can only apologize then we have uh the monster who um is the Joseph three month kit <laughs> and um it's by denise pratt of bountiful baby he's a real born um and he is supposedly 23 inches which i do think is pretty accurate and he is he is ginormous like he is just ginormous but if you think he's supposed to be 20 inches and he's 23 like that there's a do you know what i mean there's more than a three inch different there methinks so I mean, he's just ginormous. And more than even being tall, he is so fat. Like, I don't know what milk this guy has been drinking, but there must have been some serious steroids in it because, like, you can't... Like, his thighs are... I mean, I have very, very long fingers 
and there's just no way in hell he is a very very big baby so i will try and make this as brief as possible because i feel like this isn't the most interesting subject in the world but i i just maybe hope that it might be helpful to somebody who um is kind of dithering about what size doll they want um so i have created a list a list as usual um, which I'm actually going to use today. Usually the pad goes completely unused, but no, the pad's out. The pad is serving its purpose. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start with the biggins. Um, I have only ever had one significantly big doll. Um, back in the day, I had um, a Lola by Adri Stoedi, or I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce her name, but it's something something like that. Um, and he was really rather large and because of him I kind of thought that I didn't really like big dolls um, because I just couldn't uh, kind of get on with the size of his limbs um, but this guy has really really changed my mind on that and um, so I've written a few pros down um, the main pro I thought especially with this kit is just the cuddly factor like he is so cuddly and I kind of before getting this kit I thought maybe that would not be the case because if you think like he isn't made of silicone he has a lot of hard vinyl on him do you know what I mean so I thought maybe that wouldn't be cuddly but then you know he has a ginormous um cloth body which is so soft and squishy um and it, he does really feel real. I mean, I know I've got him here in a absolutely um, ridiculously ginormous jacket. And I would definitely say with this kit, just like piling him in layers is the way to go because it, he just goes from cuddly to like, you just want to hold him all the time. And um, yeah, he, he just sits so nicely, like on your hip. Um, and he's really just a lovely baby to handle and hold and I think his size is is really the reason why so then my my other main pro for a bigger baby is the clothes basically um, I think I mean it really does depend on what look you want to go for um, but I really think there are a lot more clothing opportunities um, with a bigger doll uh, this I mean, this kit is probably a bad example of that because he's very hard to dress because he's so short and wide. Um, so you kind of have to buy a bigger size for him and then like roll up the sleeves like I am always doing. Um, but I do think like selection wise, you can you can sort of venture out of that typical newborn look and you can, you know, get them in. I suppose like less comfy looking clothes which I know is bad like a baby of this age should still be wearing super comfy clothes but um, I yeah I do feel like there's 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 different fashion choices to be had <laughs> so then cons are pretty obvious I think um, storage obviously an issue um, this baby barely fits in the Moses basket and he doesn't fit on my shelves and he is just a, a ginormous issue. Um, so yeah, I definitely would recommend a smaller baby if you wanted to, you know, hide hide away your reborns when you weren't using them. Um, and then my second con is that I feel like it is a little harder to make them look real on outings. Um, because if you think of like a, a tiny newborn baby, especially, you know, an asleep one, um, I think it's very sort of normal and natural to see them, you know, super floppy, not moving. Yeah, so it just, it just is super normal to see them super still. Um, but even with a sleeping baby of um, 80s age, I feel like it is a little less normal for them to be completely still. Um, and so that could be an issue if you were, you know, taking them somewhere very, very public um, in, you know, it just, it just could. So then we move on to the tiddlers um, and the, 
I suppose the pros and cons are like exactly the same, but in reverse um, of the big ones, but I'll go through them anyway. Um, pro number one, easy to take out. I would say these dolls are so portable. Um, the sleeping ones look so real um, and they're just, just very easy to, you know, take on outings and they pass <laughs> very well as, as real newborns. Um, again, with the clothing, um, I know it really depends um, what kind of look you're going for. Um, but if you kind of love that like sleepy newborn, just got back from the, you know, hospital, comfy, cozy um, kind of look, then you're going to want to obviously go with a little wee tiny thing like these guys. You're probably not going to want to choose this monster. Um, so yeah, obviously the clothes is something to think about. And then handling wise, um, I would say obviously they're, they're very different in terms of how you carry them. Um, if you, if you like, like cradling your dolls, then obviously, um, the, the tiddlers are much, much easier to cradle. Um, and you know, they're, they're just, they're very easy. Um, to have on your shoulder, things like that, but they're not gonna, you know, sit on your hip or anything. And then con-wise, I could really only think of one, um, and that was that I feel like they are a lot less versatile if you're kind of thinking of a, of doing a lot of role play. Um, obviously, with 80s, his eyes are shut, but if they were open, you know, I can imagine you could have a lot of fun um, you know, role playing, playing with him, or I don't know, just in general, um, I feel like the picture opportunities would be golden. Um, but with these dolls, you know, if you're looking for doing, you know, realistic kind of role play, they're they're just gonna, you know, be lying down. <laughs> they're not gonna be playing. Um, they're gonna be sleeping, crying, pooping. You know, that's. <laughs> That's just common sense, really. So uh, thank you so much for watching. I feel like I have rushed through this video. Um, so I'm sorry if it was a bit of a mess, um, but I just really wanted to hop on here quickly and show you them all together um, and talk about this. And I would love for you to maybe write in the comments um, which kind of doll you prefer, big or small. <laughs> Um, and why and I just I would find that really interesting um, for me I think I think I'm leaning towards big which is a real shock it's just since having this guy he has really he's changed he's changed the the reborn game he is yeah hashtag game changer <laughs> Um, anyway, sorry, I'm just cringing at myself. Oh, I can imagine editing this right now and just being like, what was she saying? Oh, okay. Right, I'm gonna love and leave you. Um, thank you so much for watching.